Welcome back to another video. This one is on a quest that we're going to be checking out in this video. Let's get started. You're going to want to jump over to Yogger's Inn. You're going to find the Swift Paw right here, and she has a Beastmaster Druid shop, but you need to complete the quest line, which I haven't started yet. So it says travel right there, but before we do that, we are going to do this. So it explains right here, the defender of nature wielding the mighty Beastmaster blade. Head to the world tree and collect fire energy or fire spirit energy from the mad fire spirits there. So that is our first objectives. I'm assuming this, oh, it's a, it's the travel menu. Okay, cool. Takes us right to here. Fire energy is this way. These things are low level, so they're pretty much one tap, which is pretty quick kills. That's awesome. I love meeting people who watch my content. So you head back and talk to her to turn that in. Next, we have the furious fire spirit. That's what we got to do next. So we're going to head back to the world tree and take out the furious oh there he is yo he's huge look at the size of that guy there we go so we turn that in and we've got water spirits next talk to the lady and turn that one in then we have the of course the furious version so we've got to go back, and I'm assuming it's up on the thing. Me and my cousin used to go up behind this place right here. Yep, that's where it's leading us, all right. I thought so. This is what we used to go. I call this my raven's nest. Is it Dahlia? Is that how you say her name? So we've got air spirits next. Killing these things is definitely the slowest because of the distance between them. So you have to kind of travel back up and down this runway here in order to get to the ones here. But eventually you'll complete that. All right, completed that one. Now, of course, we have the Furious because you have to have the Furious. All right, we are going to go back over here. This time we're taking on the big guy. I saw him up on top of that branch right over there. And we turn that one in. Earth. Oh, man. Here we go. This is where a pile of people are because I accidentally went to this area first. Oh, actually, there's nobody there right now. Yippee skippy. So we turn that one in. And we are going, of course, after the Furious. The pattern here is all too familiar, but I don't mind, actually. This is nice to take us to other locations like World Tree and other places because... It kind of breathes life back into those areas. And some people have never gone to these places before because they're just side content. It's not something required to do, you know, this map at all. It's just side content. So it's really nice to have maps like this kind of reintroduce new players to it and brings back the older players like me back to a place that we enjoyed playing through. Now we're moving into Arkin Grove. We've got some gorilla fonts and arcane wolves. This is really cool. Wow, do we have all this to go? I have no idea, but either way, it's interesting so far. So looks like we are now going to be taking out some gorilla font. And the location that I usually do this is right here. The reason why is these two things right here spawn back. So this is a prime location for taking these things down. You have other random spawns over there. You'll have other gorilla font and other stuff as well spawning. But these things will always respawn back. At least the gorilla font respawns back as a gorilla font. I think these two things in front are random spawns. But I'm pretty sure that the arcane wolf is also a stable spawn. I might be not remembering that right. Okay, I'm not. Gorilla Font is a stable spawn, so the Arkin Wolf is not a stable spawn. Good to know. And there we go, completed that one. So I'm also, I didn't realize that the NPCs were actually in the instances with us. It, I mean, for me, it's just quicker to jump back to the auger. But I mean, if they're right here, if you're on mobile or if you're on a slower internet, then it's probably 
you could just turn him in right there instead of having to constantly jump back to Yogur. And I'm assuming she's also... In fact, I'm going to test that right now. I just want to see if she is... Yeah, she's right there. So, now honestly, for me, it was just quicker to jump back because the load time is really fast. And instead of running here, interacting with her, and then running back, it was honestly quicker just to jump to Yogur for me. For you, it probably isn't. So, just stick to the instance that you're in to interact with with the NPC. As for me, I might probably still jump back depending on the distance between the enemy I'm fighting and the NPC. But anyways, we are doing this one right here, meaning we need to jump over to the Yokai Forest. And we're actually in the forest, so this won't be that bad. Now in this one here, you can basically cycle between. So there's the boards here and there's three of them in this location and then you can cycle to these three right here now you will need to engage into combat with them in order for everybody to partake or oh, actually even better idea is to just party up that way if this is a quest thing so it'd be much better that way now this you need to take out the kappa and the boar so what i do here is I go here, take out this group, then I go over here, I take out this group, and then I cycle around the entire circle. You just cycle this direction, and then you cycle, look at this, broken thing right there. You go away right now. And so you just cycle back and forth. This is the best way of doing it. Now, I'm not even doing anything. I'm letting the other guy do all the work because I was demonstrating something. But anyways, yep, that's how I do. I just follow this rotation around in circles. And you can actually have somebody else, if you're in a group, have somebody else do a different rotation. But I wanted to show you it for the video. He's probably confused why I was um, not fighting. <laughs> but I wanted to just show that rotation. So yeah, that's how I do it. And if you're not with a group, that would be the best thing. However, if you are with a group, go and fight other ones in another group while one of your team members is cycling through these ones right here and next we are going to heartwood forest so we need to take out these things right there in heartwood so let's jump over there i think what i'm gonna do is i'll let this guy fight those things and i'll go do the razors because i need 25 of those We'll return that one in and we are going to be taking out some desert ornithin as well as some sand sea things which meaning we're going to the sand sea desert you get the sand sea scarabs right here you can just take those down and then over here you've got the ornithins right over here group of them oh am i gonna get hit Ooh, goody gonna turn that one in we've got lelosia shark oh okay jelly what okay where the heck oh lelosia of course i was like where are there shark and jellies not really sure where that was but yeah makes sense now so why is it pointing over there are there shark over there i didn't know there was shark and i forgot you could just run right off of the platforms like that you used to not be able to do that so I'm still not used to that because there used to be blockers everywhere. Why is it pointing over here? I had no idea there was a shark here. Weird. Since when did this shark? Huh. Well, it's got to be new because all the other sharks are over on that end over there. So, and then it's a jellyfish. I honestly don't even know where there are jellyfish, to be honest. There's more sharks down here. Holy, oh, there's a jellyfish. They're under the water. Okay, this is awesome. Are these, these are lurkers. These don't count, count as sharks. Okay, good to know. Lurkers are not sharks, but there's a jellyfish. Cool. Are those lurkers? Yeah. So lurkers are not sharks. There we go. Completed that one. So I'm just going to jump back to here because it's just so much quicker than having to run back to where Dahlia is. Uh, there we go. We completed it. We got access to the Beastmaster. Big thanks to Aragorn for helping me out with that one. Beastmaster Druid Shop. So let's check this out. This is the Beastmaster Tunic. 
right here. Now, bear in mind, this doesn't go great with the outfit I currently have on, but you can imagine what it looks like. That's actually really cool, though, with the deer head and everything. And then you have the belt right there. Nice leather belt, the boots, the cape. Oh, holy, that is neat. Very autumn style. The gloves. I have a feeling Winnie is the one behind this because she makes some. Oh, look at that sword. That is awesome. I love that sword. Very cool. So there you go. This is all entirely for free. On my Discord server, the AE Federation, we have a channel called the Set of the Month based on whatever month it is. So for this month, it'd be November Set of the Month. And it's a contest. The winner gets 5,000 Arctic points, also gets to be featured in the ending of one of my videos. Lucy Von Darth was a winner of the October one. So this was her set that she won. Now these contests are open to AQ3D as well as AQ World ones as well. So congratulations, Lucy, and big thanks to King Werepire for hosting those things as well as Ivory who posts about them. But King Werepire is the sponsor of it, so big thanks to him. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging.